Yo, what's going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another episode of What Would Brev Do? We are continuing our series using all the Future Stars starting pitchers. And today we got a crazy one. It is my World Series game. And I'm going to throw who I think is the worst one out of all of them. <laughs> We're doing it for the content. We got Brian Bello on the bump for our World Series game. The reason I think this card's so bad is because he's got two speeds and you know only slider circle change up pretty much. Uh, going to be pretty tough to get outs with this card, I think. Um, in the lineup, we're throwing a Trent Grisham in center field for fun. Uh, do I think this card's amazing? Not really. But uh, Grisham was one of my favorite cards at the beginning of last year. His 42 series card on launch day was like one of my best hitters for a long time. So I'm excited he got a tops now and I wanted to use him for a game. Uh, we're also putting Campisano on, uh, at catcher, kind of rotating through the catchers as well. And then we're sticking Leover Proguero at second base. This is a card that many people have told me I should have rated higher on the tier list and that I need to use more. So he's going to play second base. We move Bruhan to the outfield. Uh, he's been hitting way too well for me to want to take him out. So call me crazy, starting Brian Bello. Our entire bullpen is pretty much rested except for Devin Williams, who popped off in the last game we played. Uh, and went two innings for us, but uh, this is this is going to be a tough one. I don't really know how to pitch with this card at all, and you know, there's only so much with, you can do with him. Like, he's pretty much got like a reliever pitch mix, so we'll see how long he lasts. I'm not going to bring in another starter out of the pen. We're just going to use bullpen guys. So, if we have to pull him early, we have to pull him early, and we are taking on Bobby Miller. This guy has a ton of lefties in his lineup, too. Not a great matchup, I don't think. So last episode was pitching with Bobby Miller. Now we get final boss Bobby Miller that we have to hit against to try to make World Series here. All right, slider, change up, four seam, two seam. One thing we have going for us is this guy probably for sure has never taken in at bat against Brian Bello. So we will try to keep him honest, I suppose. Let's see what this two-seamer is looking like. Not bad, not bad. Gibson can definitely steal on us here too, so we got to be a little conscious of our time to the plate. That was a disgustingly early swing that sneaks through. <laughs> and already four pitches in. We are in some trouble. This is not looking prosperous. Oh, we get him swinging early on the two seam. All of a sudden, it's looking fairly prosperous. Huge out there. We hung that two seam even. It was right down the pipe. Wow. Lucky stuff, especially against a guy like Devers. Yeah, usually these these videos are pretty educational pitching-wise, especially since I've been rolling through all the ones I like to use, the Future Stars. But like I said, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I do not know how to pitch with this card. It's probably just going to be traditional uh, tunnels that you use with, like, outlier slider guys, but I just won't have anything besides that to work off of. So hopefully he chases the sliders a lot. We got him on one of them there. All right, facing Bobby Miller. So we pitched with Bobby Miller last episode. I mentioned how I think featuring the sinker a lot is the best way to pitch with him. And hitting against Bobby Miller, I think it depends on how comfortable you are against his different type of pitches. There's no way I hit this out late swing, right? Yeah, pretty bad swing. Uh, if you feel like you really struggle hitting the fastball, then it's probably good to just sell out fastball, especially early in the game. Because if you connect on one against the right opponent, uh, you can kind of get them off of it for a long time. Uh, like, some guys will try to spam you with Outlier, and if you actually tag one for a home run, they kind of, you know, put respect on you right away. So that's an approach you can take for sure. Um, otherwise, looking for hanging off speed in general, especially early in the count, is a really good approach. Since even though he does throw pretty nasty off speed, his control on it's not great. And if you get someone who's being really cute and just throwing tons of off-speed early in the count, you may catch one hanging. So a couple different ways you can go about it. Personally, against Bobby, I prefer the second approach because I'm pretty comfortable catching up to 102. 
even if I'm not necessarily looking for it. So my approach is generally is looking for hanging off speed early in the count. Um, but it all depends on your opponent's tendencies as well. Four seam sinker sinker. Kind of weird. Got to see a slider or something soon. There it is. Hmm. I don't know what he's going to go with. Nice little splitter below the zone. Trying to get us to chase. Luckily, we lay off twice. And we finally connect on the slider. I wonder if he wanted that more inside. That ran right into our PCI. Endeavors hit it like 450. Beautiful stuff. Now this is typically sinker four seam inside, so we're going to sit on it. Wow. That's very unusual for him to come back with the slider there, the same pitch he gave up a bomb on. Uh, great job by him, honestly. Uh, this is a concept I talk about in a lot of videos, but when people give up a bomb, specifically if it's like a momentum-changing bomb, they will try to throw exactly the opposite first pitch of the next at bat. Um, so the fact that I just crushed that slider, typically, especially with a righty up for me, uh, it means I'm going to see something hard inside right away, but he had a nice mix up there. Unfortunately, we missed that sinker with our PCI, but we work him for about 20 pitches and get a solo shot there, so good start for us. <laughs> I have a sneaky suspicion that one run is not going to do it uh, with the pitching we've got out there, but you never know, I suppose. Some circle change two seam tunnels could be good as well with this card. They're not as good as sinker circle change tunnels. Um... Just because I guess two seamers don't break downward as much. But right now we're really just fishing for contact outs. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Ooh, what a terrible jump by Austin Martin there. That was kind of disappointing. We may have hosed him with a perfect throw. Oh, yikes. I haven't got that stand in place animation in a while. That sucks. Um, this guy seems pretty on the ball, and people typically pitch Clemente inside for his pitch, so we're going to go off speed away. Yeah, you can see how early he is. So guys that use guys like Clemente a lot, they know how people pitch to them typically. Some of the best players I've played just always keep a super fast bat with Clemente because they know that he crowds the plate and people like to bust him inside all the time. So since I can definitely respect this guy so far... Uh, with how he's been playing. And the fact that I think he might be sitting fastball. We went away. That was a very early bloop there. Now what do I do? Who does he have hitting leadoff? Gibson. Gibson's about just as scary as uh, Utley is. So I guess we'll pitch to Utley. There's a play here where we could... Walk Utley, take the out against the pitcher, and then pitch to his leadoff hitter with two outs. But it's basically the same spot as pitching to him now, considering Utley and Gibson are very close hitters, so we might as well go after him. I think I want this off the plate a bit. Oh, that's exactly the swing I wanted. <laughs> I wish he would have put that in play. Dang it. That was for sure a double play. Ring him up. Nice. Huge. Okay. Does he pinch hit here? It's not as terrible as it looks. Alright, looks like he's keeping Bobby in. So I'm going to press down on the D-pad to do my defensive adjustments. And I'm going to put the outfield shallow. Just to try to prevent a bloop shot. Since a bloop shot scores a run, he just sent both runners there. Does he suicide? Suicide squeed with two outs is not good, so I don't think I have to worry about a bunt. We get him swinging early at the changeup. We go to first, and we get out of it. Four hits given up through two innings for Brian Bello, but somehow keeping him off the board. Sticking with our approach we talked about earlier, where I'm kind of just chilling, looking for a hanging off speed. 
May have to mix it up though. He honestly has not been throwing that much off speed early in the count. I don't know why I chased that. That was so high. <laughs> um, he's all been almost exclusively sinker fastball the first couple of pitches of an at bat. So maybe we try to turn on one and punish one time, get him off of it. Of course, he goes splitter first pitch as soon as I make that decision. Dang, just over the top. Decent swing, just didn't line up the PCI. Two down here. See if our boy Trent can do some damage. I loved this card last year. I think he hit like he ended the year with like a 600 batting average. Because I just hit against launch day pitchers in events for like the whole first month of the game cycle. It was a lot of fun. And we get a perfect up the middle base hit. Reliving the glory days a bit. Uh, I think we got to be a bit aggressive with Camposano here since he can pitch around us, get to our pitcher. Uh, I didn't mean that aggressive. I don't know what's up with my PCI today. Uh, I've been recording these videos like back to back, like the Bobby Miller one last episode was just the game before this. I don't know if it's the way I'm sitting. I moved my mic to hopefully be a little more, a bit more clear and it somewhat obstructs my view of the strike zone. So. so maybe this is not a long term plan. But yeah, my PCI placement and timing in general has been all over the place today. We'll try the slider high. I haven't shown him this tunnel yet. That allows us to set up things like a four seamer up and in later on. We will just bury a change up for now though, since we have another ball to give. And I think we go change up again. Okay, he was ready for that. Thought about backdooring that, but I usually throw those for a ball and I don't really want to walk him. So inside's a little bit better because if I do miss my spot for a ball, it's a lot more likely that he swings at it, which is exactly what happened. We get a nice little ground out there. Surprisingly, so far, navigating this God Squad. I guess it's not really a God Squad lineup, but navigating this tough lineup with not a good card. Try to tunnel that just to see if he chases, and then I think we try some cheeky stuff like an up and away change. Oh, almost caught the corner. Nice. So we're our approach this game has we've been 0-2 a lot of at bats. So our opponent may have to start hacking a little bit more early in the count, as he does right there. But we luckily ran the two seam off the plate. But uh, we basically just been ahead in every count, and we're getting him to chase with two strikes eventually because we have so many balls to give. So good long-term plan. Who knows? But so far, so good. I think I swung there. Yeah. <laughs> Best swing I've taken all game, <laughs> besides Devers, unfortunately, with our pitcher. It's all right, turning the lineup over. I think I'm going to be a bit aggressive in this at bat with Bruhan. Look for specifically sinkers and four seams down the middle here. He's been throwing them a lot early in counts. He went splitter. Unfortunate. Good spot for that. Now we're 0-2. <laughs> Tough spot to be in against Bobby. We got to lay off the sliders at our feet. Got to lay off that pitch too, but luckily we fought it off. Okay, pretty easy take. Missed his spot by quite a bit there. That is disgusting. That caught... 
as little of the corner as it could to still be a strike. Insane. There's the pitch I'm looking for. But we were just late. Still sticking with that approach, though. That might get through. <laughs> Lee over getting a cheeky one. I think we got Devers up again. This could turn into the Raphael Devers game. If we come through here, it'd be insane. Man, that is right on the black. Luckily, lay off that pitch. That was an adjustment from an out we made earlier. No, sir. And it's in the gap. This is Clemente throwing the ball in, so I don't know if we can score 85 speed. We're going to try. I think we're out by a mile. Oh, I think we had to go for that because I've been hitting so bad. <laughs> like, if I thought I could come through second and third with two outs, maybe I hold him up. Dang it. That ball was crushed in the gap, man. Beautiful cut. Probably, honestly, I'm coping, and that was the wrong send there. I mean, I pretty much knew it right away, right? I even said it was Clemente, just undisciplined because I wanted the run so bad. Sucks. This is uh, now a big inning given the mistake we just made. We really, really need to keep him off the scoreboard yet again because if he takes the lead on the back of that cutoff throw, he's going to have all of the momentum. Whew. Still swinging early at the two seam. It's surprisingly been maybe our best pitch with this bellow card. Uh, we are benefiting maybe a little bit from the fact that he has a lot of lefties and the fact that we can just pitch away a lot. There he is sitting fastball with Clemente again. Same thing I talked about last time he was up. Just a product of taking a lot of at-bats with Roberto. This guy's not doing anything wrong. It's just typically most people pitch him that way. And I think we just got bailed out because that was crushed to dead center but did not leave. Whew. Brian Bellow just putting up Houston Street inning after Houston Street inning. <laughs> we are navigating some wildfires. Two out of Foscu. With how bad I've been hitting, I think I just take this pitch. A leadoff walk would be pretty huge. Let's see how cute he gets. Two of slider run in the black. Wouldn't have done anything with that anyways. Okay, 3 1, I'm taking again. If I was hitting better, I might be looking for like a four seam here, but I'm just not. All right, three two. What does he come with? Sinker again. We're just a little bit late. Dang, if I was earlier on that, that probably would have been pulled for a bomb. Just didn't see it quite quick enough. Good at bat though from Justin. He's done that sequence a lot too to lefties. Here's the O2. Ball one ball. Yeah, this is almost exactly the same sequence as he did to Devers, I think. Fight that one off. Does he go up and in fastball again? Just relive the hole at bat. He did not. Splitter down low. And it's below the zone, but we're able to lift it above the infield. Definitely stopping at second base here. And this is another spot where we could get a fastball inside, so I'm going to sit on it again. He threw it out. So that's the same scenario I was talking about earlier where if they give up like a momentum changing hit or it becomes a big spot, they typically like to throw exactly the opposite of what they just gave up a hit on. This is a huge at bat. Please don't get caught. It's getting caught. Oh, man. I think it was just a little bit early there. 
Easy tag up, by the way. He's never throwing us out. Uh, now we gotta warm the pin up. Pin up. He could double intentionally walk to our pitcher. And Bellows pitch sketchy enough where I think I would pull the trigger on a pinch hit there. So, just thinking ahead. Seems like he's going to come after me, though. Pretty good pitch selection by him. We've already swung at that once this inning. I was about to say he might try to catch us at the front door sinker again since we took it before. Just fighting for our lives here. Okay, he absolutely does not have to throw us a strike here, so we got to be disciplined. Oh, I got launch angled on that. Oh, and if it was a sinker, I would have probably hit it perfect. Oh, that is such a frustrating swing to take there, man. That was about as good as it gets. And I just hit it straight up in the air for no reason. Dang it, man. Another missed opportunity. Seems like he's becoming pretty undisciplined at the plate, though. He might be getting frustrated. That should be strike three. So we got him to chase two balls there in a row. Four strikeouts randomly. Uh, it looks like he's leaving Bobby Miller in as well. Tough call for him, honestly. I would probably leave him in two in a one-run game if he was down by a bit more or if there were people on base. Brings Definitely brings the upside of pinch hitting up in those scenarios. I'm really, uh, I don't know if it's my confidence or if it's just the card's pitch in general, but I really feel like I'm locating his circle change up really well. At least on that low and in corner to lefties. Early on the two seam outside again. How have we thrown five scoreless, man? I'm actually going to have to leave him in here, too, <laughs> if Camposano doesn't get on. That's crazy. He's going to hit twice. I was not expecting that going into this game. Up the middle. Base hit for Camposano. A little back-to-back -back sinker action. And uh, now we could try to steal a bunt. This is also, man, World Series game. Uh, World Series game. Only up by one. Fully rested bullpen, except for one guy. Also, our opponent's lineup, like parts of it, are really weak to lefties. So having keeping a righty in as we go through the rest of the game is not ideal. You guys are gonna hate me because I'm dealing with a bad card, but I think it's correct to pinch hit here. I should check his bullpen. People are warming up. Um. Because people are warming up, I'm actually going to go Escobar off the bench. So this is to kind of hedge in case he wants to make a pitching change. But I think this is a high enough leverage situation where uh, I think pinch hitting is worth it, especially as the home team. It's a really tough call, though. He does go ahead and go with a righty here. So if I would have uh, pinch hit with my lefty, he would have gone to Britain. So pinch hitting Escobar was the good the correct move now we just got to be a little bit more disciplined than that nope. 
3-1. People typically throw cutters here with Devin. I'm going to keep a slow bat. Yeah, he missed his spot too. Okay, huge spot now. This is absolutely one of the best spots you could ever drag bunt to second base, by the way, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but just for the sake of transparency of the correct play here, trying to bunt for a hit is at the top of the list. Because if I'm out, it's a sacrifice anyway. Looks like we're going to get a fielder's choice here. I think we beat that out. Absolutely disgusting spot for a screwball there. Now our goal is to stay out of a double play. We could also try to steal. Devin Williams is pretty slow to the plate. We're just going to lace that up the middle instead. <sighs> he turned around so fast. What a terrible base running play by me too. I got hosed by Clemente twice this game. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> so dumb. I thought I would have more time to get to third, and then maybe I could go second and third. And we line out to center to end the inning. That was a tough sequence of events. One of them was definitely my fault. That last Devers lineup hurts a lot, though. That was a screwball right down the middle, man. Hopefully that base running mishap doesn't come back to bite us. And hopefully Josh Hader can be as good as Brian Bellow was. Not a sentence I thought I was going to say coming into this one. This guy is just really erratic. He just It just seems like he wants to swing at everything. I can't throw a fastball here, so we'll throw a get me over change, <laughs> which apparently he was sitting on. This is a sketchy pitch. I never want to walk Tatis here, so I think we just throw get me overs and hope to get a contact out. I missed my spot. Oh no. Oh no. He could absolutely steal here, so we got to be weary of our timings to the plate. We're also trying to stay away this entire at bat because we want him to swing early and hit into a double play. We got to put it in the zone, though. Oh my god, thank god that went foul. I got to go to first. Uh, I may have had him at second, maybe, but it was not worth trying. I would have had to spin my whole body around and thrown across the entire infield, basically. That sucks. Uh, but it would have sucked a lot more if we didn't get an out there. It's just too obvious of a pitch. Let's see if he chases this in the dirt. He did. Nice. Bailing us out. Seems like he's pressing a bit. Cattell into Maurer. I think we stick with Hayter for two batters at least. Oh, no. Bruhan in right field? <laughs> this sucks, man. Mauer's the go-ahead run off the back of a late swing from Marte. This is terrifying. And I immediately hang a slider. Wow. Very lucky he didn't do more damage there. What a terrifying inning. And I think we go Duran next uh, inning for Clemente Utley, pinch hitter. We definitely want some velo after throwing Hater out there, who is kind of a middle of the road t guy in terms of velocity. So Duran is the right guy next inning. And we will try to go back to work against Williams here. Very happy about facing Bobby Miller and getting him out of the game as early as we did. Always a plus. Good pitch. 
Shouldn't have been late on it if I was going to swing. Let's see if Watson can get his second hit of the game. Did I have good timing on that? I was late. Okay. Typically against Williams, I'm looking for cutters mostly. Just as a general rule. I don't know if I said that already. How does that stay in play? Dude, my opponents will swing at that all day and foul it off. <laughs> Mine stays in play corkscrewing somehow when I make it out. It's so annoying. If I would have been very early, it would have been a foul ball, but since I had good timing, I make it out. All right, Austin. Still looking cutters. Good pitch. Cutter outside is a good tunnel from there. So we're going to try to lay off. Don't really want anything that hits here. If he throws another four seam, it is what it is. Double screwball is a couple easy takes. What does he come with? 3-2. Pitch. I may beat it out. No, Utley's way too good defensively. That was just a good tunnel from him. I should have seen it coming, but I did not. Just not hitting well, man. Hopefully Duran can keep this train moving. Again, starting him with slow stuff against Clemente for the third time. Because he's absolutely selling out fastball when this card's at the plate. Nice. Get him to chase the splitter. Easy play. One down in the seventh. We'll come back with a four-seamer here just for the mix-up. Haven't really shown this guy Velo yet this game, too, now that I think about it. Velo throws decently hard, but not outlier hard. What a play by Devers. We're going to get an out. That was a great swing by him. We're getting pretty lucky on the mound, honestly. I definitely want some insurance. I don't know what this is. Your bullpen better be gas, bro. This is terrible. What is this? He's got Valera, Soto, and Ortiz on the bench. Okay. I will just come out and say I in no way agree with this decision. I think this is terrible. Uh, I know Williams has been pitching well for him, but you don't really have a choice here. Like, It's possible if you don't start hitting better that that's the last time your pitcher's spot even gets up this game. Like, You just have to pinch hit there. I don't do these videos to bash on my opponent, but that was really bad and... I try to teach you guys what's good. <laughs> that, I, there's just no line where that's better than pinch hitting for me. I don't know. Uh, let's try to punish it, though. Definitely getting an early rally and getting Williams out of the inning early on here is going to make the decision to keep him in to hit there even worse. And we go yard with Trent Grisham. Pretty much the exact same swing I took earlier in the game with him. That was a lazy fly out. Instantly punish our opponent's mistake there. Huge insurance run. I am very happy. Williams is up to 32 pitches. There's just, I don't know. There's no way that was the right play.
Can we get that one through too? Oh my god, what a play over there. You gotta be kidding me, dude. <laughs> Tatis, insane. All right, we'll go Pujols here. Uh, again, don't want to burn a lefty here because he probably, well, maybe not because he left him in a hit, but typically someone would want to bring in a different reliever here. So if we burn a lefty, he's just going to bring in a lefty. I'm super sad he made that diving play. Another righty here. That's why we chose Pujols because he's got reverse split, so... Not the worst righty to bring off the bench in a spot where we think our opponent might make a pitching change. Did not think he'd triple up there. If he quadruples up, it's going to be a 4 nothing game, I'll say that much. <laughs> still, still killed the slider. <laughs> Love to see it, dude. Probably should be starting pools if I was trying to win every game, but, you know, variety is fun. This is definitely a sinker now. Yeah, every single time, all day. Um, again, he just gave up a double on a slider. I didn't really take good swings at the sinkers he was throwing earlier, so that was pretty obvious there from him. May go with it again, even, considering he needs a double play. Probably going to get a healthy dose of sinkers here, too. Dang, I actually hit into that double play. Even if I beat it out, it's a run. That is very unfortunate. Perfect spot for that sinker. I'm just waiting for him to go to the slider. Good job, uh, spamming it. He probably knew I was looking for the mix-up. All right, Britain's my best lefty here in the eighth. Feeling pretty good about this. Just got six more outs until we are in the promised land. You can see how much I'm staying away from sinkers here. I'll throw it with two strikes. Oh, that is so disappointing, dude. Um, our opponent's bat's been pretty fast, and he's been pretty aggressive in general, so I want to make sure I'm not just, like, throwing sinkers in the zone because it's definitely possible he just tags us, like, first pitch. That is such a disappointing start to the inning, man. Absolutely perfect sequencing and pitch. Uh, we'll throw a slider one time. I don't think he's going to swing at this, but he did swing. Yeah, our opponent's just, like, so erratic. Like, he actually wants to let it rip like it's a 102 fastball, like every single pitch that I throw. Great spot again. Britain's getting a little unlucky here. I just hope that we can uh, keep him off the scoreboard. Absolutely disgusting pitch. And we definitely go first pitch slider now because he's going to be upset. He just got beat by that. Yep. I think I throw it again, and then we go sinker with two strikes. This is a pretty obvious sequence, but he's already swung at this once, so maybe we get a double play. Yes. I don't know if we turn it fast enough. We did, dude. Absolute clinic by Britain there. Pitching around the cheap leadoff single. And that is why I personally think Britain is the best lefty in the game, because he is the best lefty pitching to lefties. It is so hard to catch up to that inside sinker when you're hitting left on left against Britain. And uh, we're probably going to go Hoffman for the ninth, as crazy as that sounds. Just to have a low velo guy after the high velo guy. We may end up leaving Britain in, too. We'll see how the matchups are looking. Trying to go the other way here. That's why I'm so late, because the shift's on. But can't quite figure out the timing. Nice. 
I should not have fouled that off. Very lucky. Devers again. Nobody look at that PTI. <laughs> That's an active Quirks bomb right there. Uh, yeah, our opponents completely abandoned the slider. So even though our PCI wasn't there, our timing was there. And uh, I don't know. It's tough to say. Like he did get the double play on the slider to end, or on the sinker to end last inning. But I think literally the only slider he's thrown has been the Pujols double, which makes it very easy for me as a hitter to just sit sinker. There's a slider. This is much better sequencing from him. I will applaud it. Another couple lucky foul balls from us. Nice. So he's gotten us a couple times just like spamming the same pitch like three, four, five times in a row, especially with two strikes. So if we get there, something to keep in mind. Watson, too. It's just too easy, man. Too many sinkers right now. Two solo shots in the eighth for Gigantic Insurance. That's my first home run with Watson. That was a beauty. And things are looking up for our World Series chances, dude. In the game where Brian Bello started, he threw five scoreless. That might bloop on him, too. Uh, things are compounding here. I got to imagine Clay Holmes' confidence is super low. Uh, definitely another spot where he should probably be looking to make a pitching change. But he's been pretty stubborn about his relievers so far. So hopefully we can punish yet again. Oh, I put my PCI for sinker there. That's so gross. <laughs> I'm never hitting that pitch. Unfortunate. Ah, and I had PCI for sinker. That's okay. We're up 5 nothing going into the ninth. With the bigger lead, we have a lot more leverage here to lead Britain in. So I think we will, especially since most of his lineup in general has been worse against lefties. Let's check what he's got going on. So Toglia, Marte, Maurer. Toglia is slightly better against lefties, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, Marte's even. Maurer's worse. Yeah, so I think... I think we can let it ride with Britain all the way, and, and hopefully we don't get there, but all the way until Tatis Jr. That may be the spot where we're forced to make a move, but hopefully we can just let it ride here. He's looked pretty uncomfortable against Zach as well. Oh, <laughs> that's so nasty. He was thinking about the slider at his feet. We are able to front door him there in the perfect spot. You can see I'm throwing two seamers up with Britain too. Something I've shown and talked about before, but your part doesn't grow with two seamers when you throw them high, whereas if you throw sinkers high, it does grow. So that's one of the things I like doing with Britain is if I want to go elevated with heat... We do it with a two seam, so our accuracy is a little bit better. Another ground out, Zach Britton style, and he is down to his last out. We might close out our World Series run with back to back two inning saves. And I think we can be a little reckless this at bat just because it's 5 nothing with two outs. 
Just throw something in the zone, make him hit it. No walks. He's late there and hits it up the middle again. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so we got eight hole. We got Clemente into Utley into pinch hitter. This is pretty scary at bat, I, I guess. You could make the argument for me to make a pitching change here, actually, but I'm not going to. And now we'll go slider at his feet, since now he's going to be worried about the front door sinker that we already caught him with. Oh, how did he foul that off? We will throw it again. We'll hesitate a little bit, so it doesn't seem like we're just autopiloting the same thing. And we get him to chase. We get the complete shutout. We go the whole game with a shutout. I was going to say complete game shutout, but that's not what happened. Devers, three for four with two bombs. Brian Bello, five innings, four strikeouts, five hits. Gets the win. We get the plus 17 to get to 901. And we make World Series with, with uh, in my opinion, the worst Future Stars starting pitcher. So pretty good game from us, honestly, even at the plate. We made some serious base running mistakes. But overall, managerial-wise and everything, uh, very solid. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. Um yeah i don't know who's gonna use brian bellow but hopefully it was fun to watch if nothing else anyway take care guys see you next time